Let's see what joyous fun we can get into today using just eight mods and building up small towns all over this beautiful map. Today we are going to be connecting our three first towns together via roads and a huge green belt. Let's get started. Today is going to be all about connectivity, but first we need to remove some connectivity and we are going to rethink how we are connecting our three towns. So right now we have Noobtopia up above, we have New Brighton below. So I'm removing all these power lines, this original feeder road I put in, and I'm also going to remove this additional connection I made to the highway via this roundabout. And that's just going to open up the space for some new opportunities with how I actually want to connect these towns up in a different way and then focusing on pedestrian and bike infrastructure as well. Okay, with that old feeder road removed, I came down to Noobtopia because I really want to connect a new feeder road from Noobtopia around the mountain running along the railway to uh, Noob Castle. So essentially it will be a small highway that runs along the rail track. This is gonna be really helpful in fully connecting up our first three towns together. So I'm gonna pull this feeder road all the way around from Noobtopia to Noob Castle. Now I'm going to be able to bring our new feeder road from Noobtopia to New Brighton. I am bringing the feeder road across the highway on the other side so that way the space that we have in between the freeway and the mountain can turn into our green belt. We are going to provide bike infrastructure and just really great hiking paths that are going to be accessible for all three of our neighborhoods. Okay, we are all connected up. Now we have this lovely feeder road that is connecting all three of our towns together. So let's go ahead and unpause this. All right, let's get some proper giveaways on here. And let's just see how this does. I had a feeling this would be pretty popular because we're providing Again, more connection in between our three towns. Okay, I think this is gonna get backed up. Let's add some more lanes in and see if that helps. A good old, some good old Biffa traffic fixing. Let's give it a go. Okay, I've tried all the Biffa traffic fixes. This is not working. I'm gonna remove the time traffic light here. That's not working. So I'm gonna do something I learned from Yumbo, which is called a jug handle. And I think it'll fit perfect here and I think it'll really help the traffic. And YouTube magic. Thank you, Yumble. The jug handle works so perfectly. This cleared up in no time at all. I am so happy with this. Everyone's getting where they need to get. I'll make sure to link Yumble's video below. Um, I just did one side with a jug handle, but you can do two. It's a, it's a really easy fix, especially for someone like me that's not good at building complicated interchanges or intersections. But now we have traffic over here and I think we also need a connection to the freeway. So I think I'm gonna bulldoze this and we're gonna start over. Okay, is it the nicest looking thing? No, but it works. <laughs> so I'm going with it for now. I think 
it's it's functioning it's functioning and you can hop onto the freeway to get out of town there's a connection for you to get into noobs town quicker i think this is a valued connection even though it doesn't look that nice but in real cities not everything looks nice so it's fine it works it works and now our feeder road is fully connected up okay we're now heading back over to noob castle so we have this lovely walking path that goes around the water from new brighton to newcastle here so what i want to do is continue to pull through our bike and pedestrian infrastructure around the entire mountain essentially creating a giant hiking and biking green belt i'm very excited about this i think it's going to provide a lot of recreational activity for anyone who lives in these towns it's also going to create a lot of connection especially once we build our fourth town which will be on the other side of the mountain we can plug into this existing network that we're building now and then we'll see it getting really highly utilized i'm so excited to build this giant green belt Okay, so as we move away from town, I want to go back into using our nature reserve path. And then I do want to branch off a separate bike network path. So with the bike path, I want to create more of a A to B point, more straightforward, have it run along the highway and have that bike infrastructure be near the mountain on this side of the map. What I wanna do with the pedestrian path here is actually pull it so it will go in between the highway and the rail. And then at some point we will add fencing, a lot of landscaping, bring some things into this area. Um, we'll probably do that when we actually build out whatever town is gonna go along the other side of the mountain here. And then we'll be really able to plug all that in and so that's when we'll do the the green belt on this side so far as all the detailing but i just want to get all of it connected up today so again i'm going to pull the bike path along the highway just a more direct route um, and then the pedestrian path will end up flowing in between the rail and the highway here Okay, we are connected up on this side. So now people are already using that, that's so great. So now what we need to do is come to this side of New Brighton and then pull our new green belt through this way and connect it up to Noobtopia. Again, with the bike infrastructure, I really want it to be more of a point A to point B, get people moved quickly. So from New Brighton to Newtopia, I think doing a tunnel here, and then we'll connect to the existing bike network in Newtopia, and then we'll connect it to the existing bike network in New Brighton, and just create as a direct as a path as we can. And I think that's really gonna be beneficial for citizens who want to bike from these two towns, but then they can also plug into the overall existing um, bike network um, that we have put down. So I think this is gonna work pretty well. So let's get this hooked up. We need to come across and hook up near the bus transit center so I think we're just gonna come across and find a way to kind of curve down and connect up into here Wow I can't believe how much activity so many people are using our buses which is so great I love that we have this dedicated bike network 
Wow, look at how people are going to the train. Oh my goodness. Look at this. This makes me so happy. People are really utilizing the connection in between the two towns by train, which is great. So we're gonna go to these bigger capacity trains because we need them. I'm so glad we have them because this is really a commuter line because we're building out all these small towns. Rail is gonna play such a big part as we continue to build out on this map because we're gonna have, you know, these towns are pretty close in proximity. We're lucky that we're able to connect them up the way that we are today, but you know, we've, we're have we gonna have towns all over this map, so rail is gonna play a really important role in connecting them, and it already is, which is so exciting. Okay, I think these bigger capacity trains are working really well for us. Okay, we are now fully connected. We have this feeder road looping around the mountain. We have bike infrastructure. We have a massive hiking uh, path currently that goes around the whole mountain. So what I wanna do here over in Noob Castle is right behind this kind of industrial area we started to build up is kind of build a little bit of a trail head here and just bring some detailing in and pull this area together because right now it just kind of feels like it's hanging out there without a purpose. So let's do a little bit of detailing. Okay, I'm really liking the vibe here. This is so cute, but you know what we need? We need a coffee shop right here. Everyone that's working right here, they need a little spot. They can get like a sandwich and a cup of coffee. So we're gonna put the medium mug cafe here, which is going to be perfect. Oh, I think this area just turned out so cute. And we're kind of creating this entrance to this grand hiking trail that we're gonna be able to design a little later on once we're able to tie it into um, whatever town we build on the other side of the mountain here. I'm really excited about that. That's gonna be a really fun project. Okay, we are back over in Noobtopia and I always envision this area as a bit of a city entrance and I just haven't done anything with this yet. I actually want to leave this hill here completely open green space. I think we'll pull in some fencing and allow that to be just like a huge open hill that the community could need. You could see it be a great place for like sledding in the winter or just, you know, having that nice open, um, park space that's just open like nothing else so I'm definitely going to do that we're going to bring in some landscaping really kind of pull this area together and make it feel a bit complete because it's very barren right now and now that we have in our feeder road and the bike infrastructure I think we can pull this all together and just make this feel a lot better. Okay, in this little pocket here, when we did this town, we did not have these new parks with the lakes and I really want to fit one in here and then bring in a couple of those other cute parks. So we just have a nice park here on this side of town um, across from our huge like 
open park green space. So I'm gonna use Move It, see how I can get this fit in here, bring in some more detailing, and again, just kind of complete this part of Noobtopia that we never really got to. Okay, I'm so glad I chose to like leave that as a big open space that Kamini can use. I love how this little park turned out. I just love it. Okay, now we need to connect up to the green belt. Okay, again, I just wanna create a little bit of the kind of idea of the trailhead here. Make sure we have some restrooms, a place to sit, and just again, bring in some trees. We'll be bringing lots of trees into this area, but I just kinda of wanna get a little specific on my detailing right here. The next thing I want to do is grab our park zoning and pull it all the way around the mountain. That way, as we continue to detail up our green belt, which we won't get to all of it today, we can bring in some park assets. So I'm just going to go ahead and, go ahead and pull this all the way around the mountain. Okay, for today, I'm really not getting, gonna get into the weeds with the green belt. Maybe we'll do that on a live detailing session or maybe I'll do that off camera and show you guys or maybe we will, when we do the other part of the green belt, maybe then we'll come add to this. Um, work has been, personally for me, work has been a lot lately and I really wanted to get a video out. So I'm doing something I hardly ever do, which is copy paste trees. I always enjoy planting trees. I really like it, but this is a huge area and I do want it to have some sort of feeling of completion. So we're cheating today and we'll definitely come back and do a better job actually detailing the green belt at a later time so please bear with me but it was important for me to at least get all of these very valuable connections made and i'm happy to see people using the bike network the pedestrian network and it's just also nice to see people using the theater road our public transportation is humming along so i'm so excited we were able to make these connections today now before we end again we, what we didn't have last time was those new park assets and I want to bring some of them right into this space here. This was a, set aside for a park so I'm going to do that here and just do a little bit of light detailing in this area but I think it's just gonna pull this whole area together and just look so cute. Okay, I really love the whole vibe. We'll still need to do a little detailing in the roundabout, but it's starting to feel more put together now. We do have a bit of traffic. I think that will clear up over time, but I'm really happy with everything I was able to get accomplished today, even with the short amount of time that I had available to record this week.
Let's go ahead and end today on our new hiking trail. I love this view of Noobtopia now. You're across and above the city. The highway is still there. That's why I said I think there's a lot more detailing to do on this green belt. I think when I want people to come over here and come hiking, I do want to feel like it's separated from the city. So we have a lot of work to do in that sense, but I think it turned out really well. Okay, I have some exciting news to share. Starting in the first week of August, I'm going to be building a city live in Discord for the channel members. So I updated my channel membership. It's a new lower cost now. There's extra perks now. Um, I think there are 14 videos now on there that you guys can enjoy, but we are going to be building a city live together. So again, that starts in the beginning of August. Right now we're voting on names and maps and all that stuff. So that's going to be really fun. So please come join us if you want to do that. And it's a great way to support the channel. I hope you all have a joyful day and I'll catch you next time.